Today I'm excited to talk about our first content update for The Elder Scrolls Online. It's the next piece of the veteran gameplay pie, and it's specifically designed for groups of 4 players, and it's got even more special content designed for groups of 12 players. It's the adventure zone known as Craglorn. Craglorn is different from the other zones in Elder Scrolls Online. Content starts at Veteran Rank 10, and the exploration content is built for groups of four. It has new and dangerous Veteran Rank group dungeons, and it introduces Trials, our large group Veteran PvE system. When you first enter Craglorn, there's going to be a mystery that's set up. The constellations are missing from the sky, and you're going to hear rumor of these beings called Celestials. And they are the Warrior, the Mage, the Serpent, and the Thief. And how they're impacting Craglorn and what's going on is going to be what your group discovers. To actually get introduced to that story, we have quests that are specifically designed for four-person groups. These quests take you to different locations throughout Craglorn, and they keep revealing more and more of the story. But of course, we also have the quests that come about from natural exploration. If you're out exploring with your group, you'll stumble on these quests, many of which you can repeat on a daily basis. But it's the main story quests that really drive you to these larger places of interest that are specifically tailored to reveal more of the overall story of Craglorn. Just like normal zones, Craglorn has a main city, and that city's called Belkarth, which might be a great staging area for you to set up a group. Then as you and your group go out and explore the world, you'll see what we call Delves. Now, you may have experienced Delves in the Overland content, for instance, say, Oradon or any of the other normal zones. The great things about Delves in Craglorn is their instance to your party. They're gonna have a Sky Shard in them, which gives you those all important skill points, and they're also gonna have boss fights in them. So it's almost like a mini dungeon set up for just your group. In Craglorn, the places of interest you find are very reminiscent of our veteran dungeons. They're instance, they have a high level of difficulty, and these should challenge even the best of our four person groups. And that brings us to the brand new large group challenge that is being introduced in Craglorn, Trials. Specifically designed for groups of 12, Trials are really for the best of the best. Once you begin, you'll have to overcome a lot of challenges, such as environmental hazards, there's a lot of different monsters we throw at you, and of course there are boss monsters that have interesting tactics that you haven't encountered anywhere in the game before. And if all of the encounters and bosses weren't enough, you have a timer that you're up against, and you also have a limited number of resurrections that your group is allowed. As you're going through the trials, we're going to be tracking your time, and those resurrections, they count against that time. But if your group turns in one of the best times, you're going to be added to the leaderboards. And if you make it to the top of the leaderboards, you're going to get rewards. It's the ultimate challenge for your group in the Elder Scrolls Online. That's just the briefest of overviews of many of the things that you'll be seeing in Craglorn. We had a lot of fun making this zone, and we hope you'll have a lot of fun playing it.